Hey lovers, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bubbly Winnie and welcome back to the Positive Fan where we're all about positivity. If you're new, if you're new, thank you. And please click the subscribe button below. If it's red, you ain't subscribed, please subscribe so you can become part of the family. And if you're an OG, a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Thank you. Thank you. Um, today I have a story time for y'all. I wanted to make it like a mini mukbang, but because cash is on, it's not on my side. I couldn't get food. I couldn't get food, and it's okay. It's fine. A mukbang is what you make it, right? I can have a mukbang, camera or whatever. So I have my water. Staying hydrated, and I have my faves marshmallows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have marshmallows while I. I tell you the story because I have story time for y'all today. I have, story, I have story time for y'all today. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, please click the like button down below. Comment what you liked about the video. If you'd like more story times because I feel like I got story times for days for y'all. But it's all in due time, right? and share man share 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 tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their grandmama to tell their mama to tell their friends to tell their maki to subscribe right yes without further ado let's get into the video so i'm um starting start by opening my marshmallows if you know me if you really really know me you know that i like but you know i have big thing i see cola Right. How do you open it? Yeah. I see collab. Right. So today's story time. <laughs> How I almost got beaten up by a crazy girl. By a crazy girl for a guy in high school. Y'all know that back in high school, well, I for one back in high school didn't um date for like um yeah this is serious or whatever whatever it was just a thing of fun i wasn't even serious you know i didn't even mean um i i didn't even mean like i love you back then you know i um nah i was just playing bruh um i never even kissed nobody and like i wasn't there you know i wasn't there so this is what happened so i met this guy at church <laughs> church guys sometimes are not what you think they are or who you think they are because that guy was a sweet person he was a sweet calm human being you wouldn't think that he comes with so much drama you know so what happened was what had happened was <laughs> See what happened was I met this guy at church. It was um a Sunday, of course. I met this guy at church, it was a Sunday. So like yeah, during the church service I saw this guy. So I was this girl who came late at church. Like I was always late on a Sunday, like to church, you know. So I'd sit at the back of like the back room at church, you know. Cause our church was divided into like three sections. It was the section of um, the older people or married people, you know, like on the right hand side. And then in the middle was youth, which is me, our um, brothers and sisters who are young and not married or, you know, who are engaged and whatever. And then the left hand side was the mini ones, the kids, the Sunday school vibes. So, I was in grade 11, I remember, I was in grade 11 back then, and, yeah, man, I was, yeah, Nikiku, you know, I was in the, that stage, puberty, adolescence, whatever it's called, so, yeah, I was dating, but not really dating for, like, yeah, this is serious, we're gonna go far with this, you know, no, 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 it's just a thing, you know, even now, I don't even, like, miss the people I dated back then, because, wow. Well, I like I just couldn't you know I just couldn't so 
what happened was I met this guy after church on Sunday, right? So I saw this guy very in church during the service, like back in high school, guys. I was attracted by I was attracted by so many like weird, not weird even like smaller kind of things would attract me, but. The fact that the guy was clean attracted me like he was wearing um it was back in the days that chinese collar you remember chinese collar <laughs> so he was wearing a chinese collar a white one yo i was crazy he wasn't even like pretty he wasn't even cute or like that he was just okay he was an okay guy not that i think about it i wouldn't i, I can't say people are ugly i won't say people are ugly i i would believe people are not ugly he was okay he was okay he's pretty in his own way but i like the fact that he is clean he was clean back then i don't know about now so i like the fact that he was clean um so okay i saw this clean guy at church who was sitting at the same row as me who was sitting on the same row as me so i was like okay 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 but i wasn't there like okay right to get food nah, or like nothing like that nah make it full so then after church i'm the type of people who would like stay back and greet other people and greet my friends and whatever so the guy was new in church because yeah the guy was new in church i hadn't seen him before i didn't know him from anywhere so um excuse the noise if you hear like noise in the background i stay in the city so it is what it is so um i, I was I stayed back at church to greet other people, my grandma and other people, right? So as I was walking back from church, like, I was, as I was walking back from church, I see him like, there, at the, I don't know, how do you say, at the front? <laughs> I don't know, but like, copying because he was like one of the first people to get out of church after the service. So, uh, right, so now I could see the guy with Chinese collar go be and I was like, okay. So, I, I was walking, 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 and then how I passed the guy. When I passed the guy, the guy says, How I'm waiting for you. I was like, Me? You talking to me? And then he was like, Yeah, I'm waiting for you. I was like, Okay. So, we walked together, right, and then he told me he's new in his new mo mokasi and then he wants um someone who will he wants someone who will show him around the place you know he wants a friend and whatever I was like oh. I, I, I can't be a friend but I wasn't I wasn't that type of person who goes out besides the fact that I wasn't allowed to go out except when i'm going to church and the shops and my family members like i didn't really much like going out you know just in jail because you know so i told him okay i can be your friend but i can't show you around the place i'm so sorry i don't know the place myself i stay in the place but i don't know the place myself because i'm always indoors so right the guy was like it's fine okay um, can I take your number so we can contact each other? <laughs> okay, he took my number, the guy. And when they name, I went home, he went home. Mm. Right, so I started um, falling for this guy. You know, I started having like some and I think for the guy. Okay. So, yeah. Me and the guy headed off. We started dating, right? He was smart. You know, um, I was in grade 11 and he finished um, his metric the previous year. And like, still, he was like, you know, I was attracted by the fact that he was smart, whatever. Everything he said was like smart and he was clean, you know. And he seemed like a cool guy, calm guy. And he was a church goer, he was a church guy. He knew God, he had a relationship with the Lord. So that's what I liked about him. Little did I know <laughs> that he's a scam. He's a scam. So what happened was, um, there was this other time. Um, I asked him how he felt. Like I've always been so direct. 
about feelings and stuff so i asked him how do you feel about fame and he said i'm in fluctuation <laughs> when i'm telling you that he's smart he was like uh, he was like i'm in fluctuation there. and that time i didn't even know what in fluctuation was the fact that he said in fluctuation made me fall even deeper because now i had to look for a dictionary you know i had to look for the word in a dictionary because i didn't know the word i was like damn you smart you smart i didn't even wanna like you know so i was like it, it, it doesn't matter if you're in fluctuation or not i still want you you know and then yeah and then i put the guys my profile picture and then the at some girl at school told me that bruh i saw your profile picture on whatsapp and it's Konji, what what does guy say? I'm so bad. Koketo. I saw you um Koketo um you have Koketo on your proper picture. I was like, yeah, so we can a guy can gonna be, you know. So <laughs> so the girl was like, nah, bruh, you know, nah, like nah, this guy, we young shell and whatever. So I was like Please. You know how I thought like Unalimona or stuff. Ah, so me and my friends were like, ah, 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 Shashani Unalimona, you know? Can't you know, darling? Shashani was trying to warn us, we just didn't want to listen, you know? So what happened was, um, um, what happened I brushed Shashani's, um, opinions off. I was like, no, bruh, this guy's mine. Period. I ain't gonna listen to you trying to be jealous and you know ruining things for me. So that's what I did. All right. So on this other time, we, we were heading it off with the guy, but we were talking most of the time on um, social media and calls, and we see each other at church, walk together after church, and yeah, that type of vibes. But we wouldn't see each other on Saturday and chill like that, nah. nah honey. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So. I didn't even kiss the guy like that's why I'm telling you that dating back then for me was like playing it was like okay people are dating so so as I'm being to date so okay you know my friends are dating I'm gonna be dating too so that's what was happening with me so all right so it was family day me and my family went uh, to a park or something I'm close to my mama's um, work so me and my stepdad went there for family day and while we were at the family thing, thing, the guy texted me and told me that he's in t in the township, you know, and now not town and now he's back at home. Cause I knew that had really mold, so hardly it's my chance to, you know, see him and stuff. So I was like, I was like to my parents, um, yo. Can I please go home? I'm feeling a bit tired, you know. Just excuse me. Can I please go home? I'm feeling a bit tired. So my parents were like, okay. My mother knocked off at eight that day. So he was like, she was like, um, I'm knocking off at eight. So your stepdad is gonna come with me back. Uh, like, we're gonna come back together. So you can go back home. And then Bangkapa, Bangkisa taxi, Bangkisa taxi. And then I went back home. So the guy was like, can we meet? I want to talk to you about something. There's something serious I want to talk to you about. I was like, okay, what is he going to say? You know, he, he, is he going to make things official? Like, Uguti, like, he's going to tell everybody that he's in love with me or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so we met with the guy. It was late, y'all. It was like around 7. It was around 7 or 8. And then I went out there. I met up with the guy. So the guy told me that he has a calling to be a pastor he has a calling to be a pastor and then therefore he cannot be with a woman right now he cannot have a girlfriend because that would distract his calling or whatever something like that how stupid was i to believe that because i respect to, like i respect the lord i respect the lord right now i fear the lord even now so i was like if it is what the lord has called him to do if it is it is his purpose and who then who am i to stand before him and say no you don't do that i want you and whatever 
So I was like, no, it's fine. But it hurt me and I began. I was like, it's fine. It's okay. Mm. Fine. So, and then, right then and there, he told me that um, my ex is looking for you. I was like, your ex is looking for me? What for? And then he was like, nah, she's crazy. I told her to leave you alone. Like, because why is she doing that? So I was like, okay, since she is your ex, I'm like, you know, it's none of my business. Why would she be looking for me? So like I, I just brushed that off. So while we were busy talking there, there was a police car that was passing and then it stopped like Kopiliana and then there were two girls who got out of the, out of the police car. Okay. I didn't I don't know those girls. So why would I worry? Okay. So the guy was like, Okay, Eriko Kabe, let me walk you home. Right. So those girls were busy being loud, ne? and they were like walking like um, maybe a meter in front of us. They were busy making noise. Yo, now I won't let a bitch take my man like that. That was what they were saying. I won't let a, I won't let a bitch take my man like that. Me and the, him are tight. We've been together and whatever. So I don't know who they're talking about, so I don't mind that. So we're busy working with the guy. And then the guy literally drops me off at my gate right and then i go in and then he says Dana, go in like go go into the house so i don't understand why so i was like okay maybe he's trying to protect me because it's late and night he doesn't want anything to have bad bad to happen to me so i went inside the house right and then i thought because the guy went back home and then while i was even i, I cannot next nearly really one minute tickets in the and I'm hearing, weenie, 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 outside, okay? I go out. When I go out, and then the girls were, the two girls that got out of the car were like, can you please come here? They were like on the other side of the fence. So I went over there, and then they asked me, um, are you in Koketo a thing? I was like, since it's really late, like, from um, 10 minutes ago, he said he can't be with me. So I was like, brah. I go get into trouble for your ass. So I was like, no, I get ready in. I'm with him. And they were like, okay, all right. I didn't even ask. I didn't even ask why they, they asked me that. Right. And then, so the guy can't hata maya. We He just wanted to see what these girls would do. So he came, when those girls took off, he came and then he asked me, Wuti, what did they say to you? And then I said, they asked me if I'm, if you and I are dating. And it was like, okay, I'm gonna deal with this girl. All right, so now get to Hilo. What is happening now? And then I called the guy immediately. I called the guy immediately and I was like, what is happening? And on the other side of the call, the guy was busy slapping the girl, bruh. I told you, Guti, you're gonna let this girl. Why don't you listen to me? And then, and I was like, oh my God. Is he slapping the girl for me? So I felt like proud, yeah, you know. And then the girl was being like, okay, so you're slapping me for this bitch? All right, so you are hitting me for this bitch. She is gonna get it, you know? And I was like, okay. So it was on the call, so the guy didn't hang up, right? So I was busy begging the guy, please leave her alone. Like, she didn't do anything. She just asked me a question. She didn't hit me. She didn't do anything. The guy was like, what, Papa? Oh, I told her to not do, to not even come near you, you know? So, okay, fine. I didn't do anything. I didn't even ask the guy to. Okay, I didn't say, ah, oh, your girlfriend, do you have a group? I didn't do that. So I was like, okay, I'm out of the loop. Me, I didn't do anything. Ganti, we go to the same school, me and the girl. We go to the same school. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't know. Right, so one day I was working to school. One morning, I was working to school with my friend today. Luckily, we were about to get into the gate of the school. The girl was busy making noise behind me. It's like, you know what? What happened was Koketo is my man, you know. He, she is wild. She wild, wild. She wild. Like she was scary, but she was tall. She was like mega clean, you know. Like, and like not only the back in high school, I was dark and ugly and short, but she was 
tall and Patrice like ungathi beka like ka ge ke motho na siana body marathon 200 meters 500 meters um ke 500 meters ben yeah whatever like body athletics right so she was busy making noise and she was a wild one. She would like, ah, blah, blah. So I was so scared. And then she was busy. And my friend was like, no, don't, don't pay no mind to these people. Just let's keep walking. And then we walked, we walked, and we got into the gate of the school. And then I went into class. Right? And while I was in class, someone came to call me and said, like, there's someone looking for you. Okay. It's the girl. It's the girl. And she was like to me, um, hi. I was like, hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks, how are you? I'm okay, um, can I please talk to you after school? <laughs> you know, after school is after school. You know when they say that, that after school is after school, you know. Okay, she was like, can I please talk to you after school? I was like, okay. I was scared, yo. I was scared, I was terrified out of my mind that I was gonna be moored today. But I still said yes okay fine <laughs> can't see, like my classmates saw that i was with the girl and apparently the girl was a part of the svk gang which is like um a known gang in the township for being like yeah they were um notorious gang like you know like you know so they were like what are you doing with the girl when I these girls are dangerous. They are part of the SVK gang. And I didn't know that. They're part of the SVK gang, whatever. I was like, no, nah, she wanted to talk to me. Apparently, apparently, I took his man, which I didn't know that it was his man. The man told me that it's the, the girl is, is an ex. So apparently, she thinks that I took her man. And that's why she wants to talk to me. She's busy. Go like this. So the guy, um, the girls were like, no, I'm going to protection order, you know, if she does come near you and if she does try to hit you or whatever. And then Shashan, which is the girl who were trying to warn me back then, she was like, bro, bro, these girls are dangerous. And let me tell you something about this guy. This guy is not new in the place. He's been here in the place. And because I, I get my tax, so I didn't know the guy. He's new in the place. It's just that... He comes and goes because his sister stays here and you know he's from Igaheng so he comes and goes but he's not new to be needing people to show him around he's just a player he wanted me and he's busy with the girl he sleeps with the girl so hey, that is why the girl is so frustrated at you you know I was like what the hell is this what is happening so for the longest time bro, I've been scared of this girl she wanted to beat me y'all so after school she didn't come that day but it was on a random day when it was after school bro. and then they were working behind us you know me and my friend <laughs> you know the way i was so scared of this girl guys i every morning when i had to go to school i was so scared so this one afternoon after school they were busy working behind us it was her and two girls she was always with like people you know she was yeah so they were like my, my friend and I were eating on my keep keep mascopas so they were asking for these copas from my friend and my friend was busy ignoring them she was like uh, let's ignore these people so they were like hi Wena um they were like hi Wena why was that Arabi hey Ubuntu in in you know they were busy guarding us and whatever so the girl was like Wena Wini please Emma Mo and then I kept walking my friend was like ignore them she was like Emma Mo wanna keep wondering and Atlassian, you know, she came running towards me and then she like poked me and I turned back. I was Liguala, ne? I'm still Liguala, my dude. But Nkani, it's getting more. Imo. Kuru, I'm going to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of You know, Nkani, I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little Hey, and then I turned and she was like, hey, because I was sure, you know, and she poked me like, yeah, there. And then the girls were like, hi, you know, and then they held her back. And I was like, so I was like, okay, 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 okay. I'm safe. 
So we took another boot, me and my friend and them. From then I went to my parents and I was like, guys, I, I, I did something. I was with this guy and now this guy is with this girl and I didn't know. Him. So this girl finna hit me. Yo. So I had to confess to my parents who didn't even know that I was dating. So they put like it's just because get her whole beat. Hey, the girl, like the girl, Hampana, she would throw insults at me. She would make noise. She would tell like people how she would hit me, how Koketo is her man and whatever. I had to confess at home because I I was gonna be stabbed by the SVK gang and I couldn't have it. For a guy that didn't even mean that to me, that much to me. So I confessed to my parents and my stepdad was like, I'm gonna deal with this girl. I know this girl and this girl's because this girl's family was like notorious for for being wild, you know. And then my stepdad was like, This girl's family, even the sisters are wild, so you're so lucky that they didn't all come at you. So I'm gonna warn and really since then my step my stepdad warned her. Since then she would just make noise, but she wouldn't touch me, you know. She would just make noise. Even when, like, she would just make noise and be like, ah, 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 ah. So, moral of the story. Before dating, now I know better. Before being, do background research, man. Background research. No, I'm If you're a open. Research I'm a girl. Do what you gotta do. Check the phone. Heck, if you gotta, because <laughs> I almost died. I'm pretty sure they were not gonna just hit me. They were gonna stab me because since she was part of a notorious gang, heck, kuhai. So what I'm trying to say is, be careful. Be careful of wild girls. You see, a Chela Nine Nine shows you type of wild girl, um, type of wild girls you should look out for. You know, like the episode, yeah, like um, the El Dorado Park people. Like, watch out for wild people in life. They do exist. Wild girls do exist. Crazy ex girlfriends do exist. Crazy girlfriends do exist. If you decide that you wanna cheat. Come on now, Motu. Dali, you better, you better know for when you have. But for people who look out for you, because so I'm ready to die. So yeah, that is the story, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned to stay away from other people's men. Though I didn't even know how they were dating. Like the guy told me that it's the ex, but hope you learned to do a background check on your man. If you're dating someone else's person, okay, because you really like for someone to do that to you. You know, it ain't nice. Maybe that's what the girl felt like that he's um he's sleeping with her and I'm sleeping with him. So she felt like she that the guy belongs to her and not to me. You know, she felt like she's the girl. And I, that's why she felt like she should fight for her man. And I understand that very much now. But she's crazy to be doing that. She would, she should have dealt with her man because I had the problem here. I had the problem. I was only the one with a girlfriend or the or a boyfriend. I was so much very single back then, and I didn't know that these two were together because the guy lied to me from the get go. I didn't know. So yeah, without me blabbering along, this video is already too long. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the family when we're all about positivity. Until next time, see you in my next one. Bye!